Hi, I'm Cheryl from the Sewing Room Channel. I'm going to talk to you about fabric panels and what you can do with them, what projects you can create. So here's some of my panels. This is fabrics that I've been collecting. I have lots of them. This one here, as you can see, has many different flower blocks all over it. You can cut these out make pot holders out of them, or put them in a chain, create a table runner. There are so many things you can do. And then this one is a pillow panel. Okay, you can cut these out and create pillows with them. My intention is to create table runners and table linens with it, because that's what I envision with it. Now this one is really, really pretty. This I would use as a wall hanging or put it in the center of a bed quilt. Isn't that beautiful? And then this is a baby panel. All right, this is really cute. I forgot I even had this one. So I'm definitely going to be using this one. Now let me show you what I've done with the panels in the past. This is a table runner and it's got all kinds of blocks with coffee pots and coffee cups all over it. It also came with companion fabrics. So when you purchase your panels, see if you can find those that have companion fabrics to go along with it. Okay, now here is a Thanksgiving panel. This is just part of it. All right, isn't this cute? It's got this gobble gobble turkey in it. In the center of the turkey, there were little dots all over it. I covered them with different colored buttons. I also did embroidery stitching on the back part here, on the pumpkin, on the gourd, on the sign, and then trimmed it with this nice autumn leaves border. Then, if you're patriotic, there's lots of patriotic panels out there. This one was really fun to work on, okay? Up here, I did a friendship, friendship star block, and I also created some hearts on here, and did a little bit of decorative stitching throughout, okay? Then, here is my favorite one. This is a bed quilt that I made. Now, in here are little birds. And there was a panel that I bought that just had these bird squares all over it. I cut the squares out, put some border fabric around each square, and continued by working my way out and also putting another bigger border on it with butterflies. I took it to a long arm quilter and have her do some beautiful decorative stitching on it. Okay, so that's what you can do with fabric panels. Now, if you have any suggestions or ideas on how to use panels, put that down in the comment section. Or if you need help with any project, I try to answer as many comments as I can. Also, if you want to subscribe, click on my picture up there in the left corner. I'm Cheryl. There's going to be many more tips to come. See you next time and happy sewing.